Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another lecture on tool and die design. Uh, we are continuing with module two, that is design of cutting tools. In previous lecture, we discussed uh, the geometry of single point cutting tools. And today we are going to discuss some applications of multiple point cutting tools. So we will sp uh, specifically focus on uh, different types of milling cutters. Then we will see the basic nomenclature of a twist drill and then we will discuss applications of different tools to modify a hole including a reamer, a tapping tool, counter boring tool and counter sinking tool and toward the end of the discussion we will see uh, different uh, tools that are used to make gears including a broaching tool, a hobbing tool and we will also see actually uh, the gear shaping tool and in each segment on this topic, I will provide you links in the description to videos that show the application of these multiple point cutting tools in action. So first we will discuss milling cutters. There are two types of milling operations. We are having plane milling and we are having face milling. So in plane milling, the surface cut is parallel to the axis of the cutter. So it is also called peripheral milling. And in face milling, the surface cut is at a right angle to the axis of the cutter. So you could see in plane milling, this is the axis of the cutter and this is the surface being cut. So they are parallel. And in face milling, this is the axis of the cutter and this is the surface that is being cut. So they are perpendicular to each other. So there are different types of milling operations and as a whole, you can classify each milling operation in either of these two categories either plane milling or face milling. There are different types of cutters. So uh, first we have plane milling cutters. And these are most widely used cutters on milling. So they have teeth only on the periphery and no cutting edge on the face of the cutter. They are used to produce flat surface and plane milling cutters may have helical teeth. So here we are having a light duty plane milling cutter. So you can see the teeth are only on the on the periphery. There are no teeth on the on the face, no cutting edges on the face. Uh, but the, the teeth are straight, but they could be at an angle. So that is called helical angle or helix angle. And this angle could vary depending upon the application. So if you want to uh, remove more material, then this angle will increase. But in all these cases, the cutting teeth or cutting edges are on the on the periphery, not on the on the face. Side milling cutters are having uh, the teeth on the side or face as well, in addition to the teeth on the periphery. Uh, they have different they have different types. So a single side milling cutter will cut on the periphery as well as on uh, one side or face. Double side milling cutter will cut on the periphery as well as on both sides or, or on both faces. And staggered tooth cutter is uh, in between. So they have each tooth set alternatively to the right and left. So this is done to equalize the uh, thrust of cutting. So in addition to the teeth on the periphery, we, 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 we are having the teeth on the side as well. So that is why they are called side milling cutter. So these teeth in addition to the periphery could be only on one side or on both sides or in alternate fashion, something like this. Then we are having slitting saws. These are thin plane milling cutter with the uh, uh, sides relieved. They are used to mill narrow slots or to cut off the work into two, two pieces. So again, they are in a way similar to uh, plain milling cutters, but they are very thin and uh, they are having the cutting teeth only on, on the periphery. So uh, then we have form cutters. So uh, when we use these cutters, the shape that we achieve in the final part depends upon the shape of the cutter. So if you want to make a convex shape, then we will have a concave cutter like this. If you want to make a concave shape on the workpiece, we will have a convex cutter like this. 
and if we want to uh, make a sharp edge round to make a certain radius on the edge then we use corner rounding uh, this is a concave shaped cutter so depending upon this radius we can make a convex radius onto the workpiece and this is a convex cutter. So depending upon this radius, we can make a certain concave shape onto the workpiece. And depending upon the radius on this corner rounding cutter, we can make uh, a certain radius onto the edge of a workpiece. Then we have end mills, very commonly used uh, cutters. They can have two flutes or two cutting edges, you can say. They can have three flutes or four flutes. And you could see that they are generally used on vertical milling machines. So this is the axis of the cutter and this is the surface being cut. So that is basically example of face milling and they can cut on the side. You can see in this case, or they can cut, they can cut uh, using the end of the cutter or, or the both. So you could see these cutters in action. Uh, in the video that is uh, provided in the description. The link is provided in the description. Then we have fly cutters. So they are single point cutters uh, that are used on the milling machine. So all of the other cutters are actually multiple point cutters, but this is special cutter, a single point cutter that is used on, on, on a milling machine. So again, you can see its application in the video given in the description. Uh, then we have many other types of milling cutters. So there are T-slot cutters. Uh, they are used to cut T-slots. So you might have noticed T-slots on the bed of your milling machine in the, in the workshop. Then we have dovetail cutters. So these are the shape. Uh, they, these are having the shape of a dovetail. So they are used to cut the dovetail. And finally, we have wood rough key cutters. They are used to cut. Okay. Apart from these uh, cutters, we can have uh, inserts as well. So cutters may be purchased with uh, inserted blades or in inserted carbides. So these are inserted blades. So blades have been inserted onto the body of the cutter and these are the examples of inserted carbides. So if the cutting, if the workpiece material is hard, then you can use uh, inserted carbides. So uh, you can uh, machine easily. Apart from these cutters, we are having um, a special cutter like the ones to make gears and to make uh, tabs and reamers, etc. using milling operations. So you could see these cutters in action uh, in the video, uh, the link is given in the description. Thank you.